can talk to each other and I'll just be filming. You want to talk to the audience? Look right into the camera. Okay. Do you have a okay. Do you have a sort of question for us? Uh, well, just or do you want me to introduce? The just project? introduce the project and what we're doing. Am I and, saying hello to the audience? Um, you can if you like, okay. but I introduce yeah. people with lower thirds, so no okay. formal like hi, my name's Sudi. Just like hey, what's up, folks, or whatever, and our hello, okay? Okay. okay. And rolling. You ready, George? Yeah. How long yeah. is this show running? This show is till January. That's a long time. I know. Oh, good. Yeah. And it looks comfortable. Beach yeah. chairs. Do you like the beach nice. chairs? I like it very you much. You know, I, I tried really hard to have pina coladas for the opening, but um, they couldn't afford it. We'll be staggering in and out of here. Yeah, yeah, you know I know. I mean? Well, maybe for the closing or something, we can have like pina coladas when the students are here. Tacos. Tacos? Gonna get some tacos. Taquitos yeah. at Pastor. Uh -huh. Looks like the perfect place to feel like you are in a it's true. They gotta yeah. turn off the air conditioning though. Mm -hmm. Gotta start sweating. For the yeah. heat. Yeah. Otherwise it looks like a happy crowd. <laughs> so this, what do you think about Capulco? I liked it. It was hot yeah. and it was humid. Uh -huh. And then it had nice palm trees. Yeah. And uh Real, I mean I mean, you know, like the ones like if you go to Los Angeles, there's a palm tree every block. They're too trim. You know? So yeah, they're too trim. How were they in Acapulco? Laden with coconut. Really? Yeah, so I know you have plenty of moisture. Yeah. And it's helpful. Mm -hmm. So when you're having the piña coladas, were they fresh coconut? I don't know. I didn't even know what was in it. I know it tasted good. It tasted very fruity. Uh huh. Do you think there's still underground filmmaking now? In sure. In 2009? Right in there. What? Right in there. It's right, right in there. Yeah. Right but well, you guys still in, in Acapulco's underground still? Acapulco's had its day, but it's being revived. We hope to revive it. We're gonna revive it. We're gonna revive it. Real people. Really? Maybe. It's can Neo realist, neo realist underground. Yeah. yeah, make it a film hangout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe it we is already can a we create a new like film festival in Acapulco called the Vulture Festival I think or we something. We have to have a lot of disco scenes and disco. Oh, music yeah. that's stuff. in the new. That's in the feature you guys are gonna do more in the disco scene, no? With Cecilia. I don't wind up in the disco. Yeah, so we know it's weird after seeing all the projects that you that you well the two projects. It's it's like a gothic tropical. Group. Do you know what I mean? There's a nice color and the, all the lighting bouncing off the building. Yeah, I mean, it, it, if you think like, uh, you know, those 60s spaghetti westerns and you mix a little goth into that, that's what you guys have. Oh, yeah. That's a very it's gothic, nice no? honor. Well, I mean, it, it started because I, I saw Miguel in Mexico City. And so he's like, God, one of my dreams is to work with George Buchar because Miguel was a student of George. And so I thought, well, this would be an amazing uh, time to actually fulfill that uh, possibility and so Miguel had an amazing script and uh, the only person that could actually be the main actor was George and so we, we went around talking about when we could shoot it and finally we ended up doing it and um, I think if you see the film you really understand the vision of Miguel and the genius of Buchar. George didn't want to come down no. originally. No. I wanted to do it in Cape Cod. Yeah, that, I mean George is afraid of the bird flu. He yeah, wanted, I was afraid of many things. <laughs> he wanted to make Cape Cod look like Acapulco, and, which is funny because... And we you know, said yes. You we know, said yeah, yes. Yeah, we were going to do it in Cape Cod. We're like, you know that Elvis Presley movies that were sh supposedly in Acapulco were actually in Hawaii? No. Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. Really? Yes. I think wow. that's what I read. Okay. Yeah. So I thought that would be kind of funny, but then I sent George the script. Uh -huh. And one day, one day, no doubt. One day I woke up and I saw the email and George said, this really needs to be shot in Acapulco. Yeah, and it, it made my day. It was pretty amazing, and, and, and Miguel was ecstatic. You know, part of this whole project was based on, on, on one of those YPCA big ideas that, that I developed with, with Ken, the director, which was called Under the Influence. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess we and, are. And, and, and really, it was really the influence of both as a mentor to, to Miguel, but also in relationship to, you know, underground filmmaking. Yeah. Uh, good evening. Welcome. My name is Ken Foster. I'm the executive director here at YBCA, and I want to welcome you to this extraordinary exhibition. Thank you all for coming this evening. It's a very cool event, and uh, we're very excited to have this exhibition. To have both of the filmmakers here is a real treat and a real honor, and we're really uh, humbled and proud to be uh, hosting George and Miguel. Um, but let me introduce the man who made it happen. Um, Julio Morales, who is our adjunct visual arts curator and is the one who put this exhibition together, and uh, let's hear for Julio. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Well, first, I really need to thank Miguel and George, and especially George because 
he got a passport to do this project. <laughs> and it was the first time in 30 years that he went outside of the U.S. Uh -huh. And he only did it for Miguel. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so I, I'm very thankful for both for collaborating together and creating a really amazing project. And of course for Yerubuena, for Ken and Betty Sue and everyone else um, who really supported the project. And I, I want to say thank you to everyone because I think it's a very special project and um, it's an amazing collaboration. So thank you so much. Oh yeah, and it's ongoing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, George. <laughs> so this is a toast, so if we could raise our glasses and toast the filmmakers, the artists, the curators. Salud, salud. Yeah. Yeah.